So here we go. We start things off with Maui Ahuna, the shortstop for Tennessee, the transfer from Kansas. First pitch he sees is right at 100. Well, there is the junior out of Lake Forest, California, 6'6", 247 pounds. Uh, an unbelievable student, had a 4.76 GPA coming out of high school. Went to Air Force, obviously, with that, and now finds his way here at LSU, and the numbers are staggering. Tennessee's lineup, still very strong, not as strong as it was a year ago when they just dominated college pitching all the way up until the Super Regionals. Blake Burke in the middle of that lineup, one of the sweetest swings going. 101. <laughs> Little 101 just for fun from Paul Skeens. I mean. Lifted high in the air. Dylan Cruz broke back, now charging in quickly. And he'll make the catch for out number two. Got him on a breaking ball. Chase Dolander. Numbers aren't quite the same as they were this time last year, but still, look at that bottom number. 53 punch outs, only eight walks. Neither one of these pitchers are going to beat themselves. They're going to challenge the strike zone. We talked a lot about Dylan, and certainly he will hit third tonight. And you know, we haven't even talked about Tommy Tanks, Tommy White hitting cleanup, who's swinging at close to 400 average. But you know that he is certainly going at 100 miles an hour. And speaking of 100 miles an hour, that one was late first pitch off the bat of Dugas. He will wind up at second. His fourth double of the year. Well, that's one way to get the party started. Just off the plate. First inning. Shot out to right field. Scott makes the catch in right on the run, gets it back in in a hurry. Everybody stays put, one down, and that wasn't far off from being a double in the gap. He has been really good. Lifts that one out to right center. That one is caught by Hunter Inslee. The center fielder gets it back in in a hurry, and now there's two outs. First pitch he sees out to center field. Inslee on the run. He'll make the catch, and Dolander gets out of it. Right back up the middle. Base hit on an 0-2 pitch. Yeah. There's a strike. Throw back to first. Not in time, but they will get the strikeout. Neal again throws, did they get him? Got him. What a job by Jones to whip the tag around to get Jared Dickey. High in the air. Going to stay in the infield. Will it be Moore or Ahuna? It'll be Moore. And that'll be the second out of the inning. When Dolander gets behind it is really impressive. There it was again. A little slow roller out to second. Christian Moore over to Blake Burke and a Easy inning for Tennessee and Chase Dolander. Yeah. Didn't take quick... long either, did it? Yeah, doesn't. <laughs> Slaps that one out to Cruz in center who makes the catch. One down. But he'll go down swinging for out number two in the fourth strike out of the game for Schemes. That was 100. But right at Gavin Dugas, another quick inning. For LSU and Paul Skeens, the 3 2. And he walked him. No lander. Neal goes, and that is ball four. Ground ball hits sharply, fielded there by Moore. They're going to turn it here, and they get the double play. Dugas, or excuse me, Neal will be over at third base. Dugas out at second. Trey Morgan hits into that double play, hit it sharply. High in the air. Shallow left. Griffin Merritt makes the catch. The inning is over. Made more comfortable. Well, he's not real comfortable right now against Paul Skeens. Back-to-back -back strikeout. Gets mentally and physically ready to go. This is an hour 45 before the game. Were you, were you uh, reading like, books before <laughs> your start? Oh, we were, yeah. we were watching movies <laughs> and stuff, you know? Boy, goes goes 90 miles an hour and strikes and out change. Burke. And it is the most, and if, if you'd like baseball at any level, it is a conversation. Just hit it up on YouTube. Here's Morgan by that bullpen. Does he make the catch? 
Yes, he does. What a job by Trey Morgan. Battling the Tennessee bullpen, the railing, and almost ended up in the seats. We gotta worry about the mound. We gotta worry about the backup catcher, and he's not moving either. <laughs> Cut the swing down a little bit, just try to uh -oh. find a barrel. Uh oh. That is not a happy man. No, he's not happy, not even a little bit. Runner goes, and that hit Beloso in the arm. Didn't hit the bat, I would think. It he's did. Right. It did. It hit yeah. the bottom of the bat. The ruling on the field of hit by pitch is overturned to foul ball. White goes, lifted in the air. Will this stay in play? Denton. Near the dugout, does he make the catch? He does, leaning over the rail. Big swing and a miss. Second out of the inning. That one shot out to center field. Inslee, though, will make the catch. In a tournament last year, uh, but the kid has added a lot of grit to his game. Not that he ever wasn't a competitor, but he's a gritty kid, man. All right, well, listen, Dot, you got a guy on base. We'll let you get going, coach him up. OK, appreciate y'all. They won the regular season by six games. And this one will drop in for a base hit. So Ensley is on. So two on. <laughs> there was no confused. hit. There was no error. That one is hit off the barrel of the bat to center field. Dylan Cruz will camp out, make the catch. The throw coming to third. And Dickey will wind up there. <laughs> 87 miles an hour. A little bit slower and more downward action. Sharply hit back up the middle, and Tennessee is on the board first. The nine-hole hitter, Christian Scott, with just his seventh run batted in of the season, and Tennessee leads it one to nothing. It's pretty big for your nine-hole hitter to do that. You know, first and third, two outs, just trying to push something across. Look like a fastball out or half, and a good job of Christian Scott of just staying on it. So his dad just started calling him Maui, and that's an owie. <laughs> As he strikes out for the third time. Yes, I just went there. Yeah, this is whatever this you is want. not a light meal here. No, it's going to be good. Sharply hit down the line off the bat of Jordan Thompson. He will wind up at second base and a leadoff double. And for the fourth time tonight, the Tigers have the leadoff man on. Got him high fastball, 96 miles an hour been in previous years. High fly ball deep to left. Does it stay fair? Home run, Gavin Dugas. And the Tigers are out in front. Well, the fifth-year senior, Gavin Dugas, began his career as a freshman. Little bit in the infield, but most of it in outfit. I tell you what, you talk about sitting on one. Looked like a fastball just about belt high, but Gavin Dugas cheats and gets the barrel to it in a big-time blow to the LSU second baseman as they take a two-to-one lead here in the bottom of the fifth inning. The only question with that one was, is it going to be fair? There right. wasn't any question as to whether or not it was going to go out. Called strike three. Second out of the inning. Here's Dylan Cruz with the bases empty. Base hit. Right field for Dylan. Dylan was like, my average had dropped down to 529 from 542. I better get a base hit. Crowd getting in it now. Tommy White to the plates. Hit by a pitch his last time up. Tony Vitalo. So there will be a pitching change as LSU has taken a 2-1 lead. He has led this Tennessee staff. Runner goes, and they will. Well, that one went off Alverson's glove. From what it was this time last year. There's a chopper right back to Alverson over to first, throws a strike, and that'll get Tennessee back in the dugout. But a big shot off the bat of the fifth-year senior, Gavin Dugas. 
Moore, check swing. Yes, he went. He says, can you check down the first baseline and get a better look at it? And Scott Kennedy says, no, I had you with a swing. I just, I wish home plate umpires would ask every time. Yeah. Because I think it's really hard to see from that vantage point. For a couple of strikeouts. This one slides to the right side with a base hit. Ninety-eight. That works. You can forget about that. If he continues to do what he's doing right now. That ball's hit pretty well off the bat of Dickey in right center. Dylan Cruz on the run at the track will make the catch. And the inning is over. Coach Vitale didn't really make much of an excuse about it because both teams have to play in it. But certainly you're not used to that as Jones with the base hit back up the middle. Don't you feel like that happens every year? Whoever is playing it's in no question. Como. High chopper. Moore's throw to first is in time. Kling will wind up at second. Got him swinging to end the inning. Uh, well, Skeens is good at throwing strikes. Mm. Three in a row. The 107th pitch on the way on an 0-2 count. It's the largest crowd in LSU history tonight. The old box, the new box, doesn't matter. 13,000. Sharply hit. Nice job by Christian Moore. And the inning is over. Sharply hit. Ahuna, after three straight strikeouts, hangs in there. Boy, he's probably really glad to see Skeens call it a night. I did not Your look. I just saw him throw one time, and I was like, I, I, that guy would be pretty good on somebody's team. Boy, and then you throw one in the air. He gets that thing over. They don't hit it. And that one bounces off his mitt. Smoked. First pitch. Cruz can't catch that one. It is a tie ball game on a 3-2 pitch. Christian Moore delivers. I had been, you said it, and it felt like that's exactly what Moore was looking for here. It's not great location, it's elevated. But you got to think Tony Vitello and Josh Elander went up before that and said, listen, slider's the best. We got first base open. Don't be surprised if you see it right here, even with a 3 2 count. Add five seconds. Runner goes. Malazzo's throw. Wow. Right on the money. Barely got into the bag first. And I don't know. The ruling on the field of out is overturned to safe. Oh. Tennessee still has two challenges remaining. He went. There's the tag. There's the strikeout, and the inning is over. Ground ball sharply hit. Burke knocks it down. Going to be a close play. Halverson can't hold on to it. He was there in plenty of time, so Beloso will reach with two out. High chopper. Clean can really run. Safe both ways. Got hit, and they're going to be loaded. That ball's going to drop. Gidry scores. Clean scores. Here comes Pearson, a bases clearing double for Jordan Thompson. Well, if there was ever a guy you feel good for after the year he had defensively last year, Jordan Thompson has been on fire at the back end, hitting the eight hole, takes a fastball and laces out to right center field, and the race is on. Boy, Dickey. That one scoots past him. Out to center field. Hensley on the run, and Hensley will catch up to it. That ball's belted deep to right field. Is it enough? Oh, it just dies on the track. I agree. Out to short Thompson. 
High throw, and that one bounces off the screen in front of the dugout. High chopper to the right side. That one sneaks through. And Inslee will wind up at third base. It'll be first and third, and here comes the tying run to the plate. Got him. 94 miles an hour, three pitches. Lifted in the air, out to center field. Cruz. He is there to make the catch, and game one goes to LSU. Five to two.